Hey there everyone, Ramesh here. Today I am going to start a new branch series on React Hooks Spring Boot Full Stack Application Development. Well, this course is going to be a very interesting guys and you will learn a lot about React Hooks in this course. So what you will learn in this course? You will learn how to build a crude REST API using latest version of Spring Boot, Spring Data API and MySQL. Most importantly, we are going to use IntelliJ IDEA to build a REST API. Okay, and you will learn how to build crude React application and you will learn these important React hooks. Use state hook, use effect hook, use params, use history and there are a few more hooks. Alright, and you will learn how to connect your React application with Spring Boot. Alright, so the bottom line is you will build a complete full stack application using React and Spring Boot and we are going to use latest version of all the libraries and frameworks okay great you might already know that I have published react JS spring boot crew full stack application course on my youtube channel well in this course I haven't used react hooks I have used plain react JS for react application development so if you are completely new to react JS then I highly suggest you guys to first go through this course in this course you will learn how to use react JS uh, you know to build a react application all right at a beginner level i have explained everything about react js in this course okay and i have used class component in this course all right so if you are new to react js then i highly strongly suggest you guys to go through this course first and then you can take this react hook spring boot full stack application development course so before kick starting this series Let's first understand what we are going to build in this course. We are going to build a simple employee management application. Well, this is the list employees page. It contains a list of employees and here we have add employee button. So once user click on add employee, it will navigate to add employee page. And from here, user can able to add a new employee. Let's say first name, last name and email ID and hit submit and there we go user is successfully employee is successfully added to the list similarly let's go and let's add one more employee let's say john and last name cena and john at the rate gmail.com hit submit and there we go all right and user can also able to edit the employee for example let's say we are going to edit a ramesh employee let me change a name post name from ramesh to ram and let me change the email id from ramesh to ram at the rate gmail.com hit submit and there we go an employee is successfully updated and user can be able to you know delete the employee for example here click on just delete button the employee successfully deleted let me delete one more employee yeah so this is the crude operations that we are going to implement in this course well if you guys found you know find this course useful then I will plan to add a few more features for this application for example i will add a search box here so user can able to search the employees and i will also add one more button like view so user can able to view the employee details individual employee details all right let me know in the comment section if you find this course useful then i will plan to add a few more features for this project all right and i highly suggest you guys to start coding with me in this course okay this is the best way to learn code along with me so you will get a hands-on experience on you know coding all right great well what we will build in this course we are going to build two projects spring boot backend up application which exposes the rest apis react hooks frontend which consumes the rest apis and what is the prerequisites for this course well you need to know about html css and javascript basics and you should have you know basic understanding of react js and you should have a basic understanding of Spring Boot Basics and make sure that you have installed Node and NPM on your machine. Well, what are the tools and technologies that we will be using in this course? At a server side, we are going to use IntelliJ IDEA for building Spring Boot application. We will use Java 8 Plus, Spring Boot latest version, Spring Data JPA, MySQL database, Marvin, and we use Postman client to test the REST APIs. And at a server client side, we are going to use ReactJS that is latest version of react.js react hooks visual studio code id for building react application and we are going to use latest version of bootstrap css framework and we are going to use axios http library 
so these are the very important guys uh, you know client and server side frameworks and technologies well let's quickly take a look into react spring boot full stack application architecture well as we know that react is a javascript library for building user interfaces and react hooks basically allows us to you know use state in a functional component not only state but we can also use other react features using react hooks all right and as we know that spring boot is a very popular java framework for building rest apis and microservices all right so the combination of react js and spring boot is very popular nowadays for developing a full stack application guys so here you can see at the server side we have spring boot uh, you know backend application and here we have react application at the front end and well react is not concerned with http library we have to use third party http library to make a ajax call or rest api call in a react application so in this course we are going to use axios http library to make a rest api call in a react application and you can see here spring boot application uses mysql database okay well this is a you know typical architecture of react and spring boot application at the back end we have a spring boot application which exposes the rest apis at the front end we have you know react application which consumes the rest apis and at a database level we are using mysql database to store and retrieve the data all right guys great in next video what we'll do we will create a spring boot application and we'll expose the rest apis and after that we will create a react application we consume the rest apis all right let's go ahead and let's kick start this course by you know developing spring boot application in the next video